Hey guys, Rich Stoff from PSP Edmonton here. Uh, we are going to get started in just about uh, three minutes here. I just wanted to let you guys know before we get going, uh, what you're going to need for this class is uh, either a ruck or a sandbag. I've got my sandbag right here and uh, a couple of dumbbells or as we've used before, uh, even like some milk jugs would use in a pinch here. I've got obviously enough dumbbells uh, for myself back here. But I'll just give you guys a few minutes to gather that equipment and uh, we'll get going in once again just about two minutes now. Thanks. Okay, so once again, my name is Rich Stoff with PSP Edmonton. Uh, I'm a fitness instructor here, obviously. Uh, we're going to be doing a total body circuit class. The equipment, once again, you'll need is uh, some kind of a weighted object, like we have our sandbag back here, uh, as well as a couple of uh, things in both hands that weigh close to the same weight. Uh, once again, I've got lots of dumbbells back there. That would be my recommendation. But a couple of smaller kettlebells could certainly work in a pinch. Uh, as far as weights for the dumbbells, I would say anywhere from 10 to 30-ish pounds would be about appropriate. We're going to be doing some single arm stuff with them. Uh, it's not particularly momentum based. So uh, again, keeping it relatively light would be the recommendation uh, for the equipment for this class. For those two things, obviously the heavier object back here would certainly be a, uh, a good choice, you know, around 40 pounds or so, uh, give or take. Again, your average kind of lighter day big, rock weight, whatever. Um, and uh, if you are using a ruck, uh, like I normally recommend, just make sure you tie down the straps nice and tight uh, so you're not slapping yourself in the face if you're throwing it over your shoulder, throwing it over your other shoulder, lifting it up some other way. Uh, it's probably a pretty good idea. Uh, another thing uh, I want to make sure I bring up is I want you guys to make sure you're going to be playing your own music. I won't be playing any music in this class because co copyright stuff. Um, uh, as well, uh, for your own safety, please ensure to watch or read the disclaimer uh, located in the description of this video before you start the virtual training. Okay, so once again, we're going to be doing a uh, total body circuit. Um, we're going to be using sandbag, light dumbbells, uh, and uh, feel free, just because again, I understand, like I have a full array of uh, dumbbells. I grabbed a sandbag, we got 20s, 40s, 60s, 80s, whatever, I grabbed 40, because that's pretty... Uh, uh, a good weight for this workout. If your stuff weighs a little bit outside of that range, that's totally fine. Uh, just make sure that you say maybe uh, you do a round, you're like, oh my goodness, that was way too tough. Maybe you go down a couple of reps. Maybe uh, it was way too easy. Maybe you increase your reps a little bit. Uh, feel free to vary uh, with what I'm doing by as much as 50% out of the way rep wise, simply because you might not be working with the same equipment or maybe you're way fitter than me. Uh, maybe you're less fit kind of thing. It's okay. Uh, feel free to change the reps up to accommodate uh, for what you're doing. Okay. So what we're going to begin with is just a little bit of a warm up. Uh, we're going to start with kind of some mobility um, stuff, uh, some muscle activation stuff as well. Uh, and then we're going to move into just uh, something to kind of get the blood pumping a little bit. Okay, so we're going to start out with uh, the world's greatest stretch. If you guys have seen any of the classes with me in before, you know this one fairly well. Uh, you're going to step forward with the right leg, back leg. Uh, back knee, pardon me, touches the floor. You're going to squeeze the glute on that back leg, push hips forward, and then you're going to look over your forward leg, just like that. So I'm trying to square my hips to this, shoulder, this uh, wall in front of me to you guys. I'm trying to square my shoulders up relatively close to that wall. Then I'm going to take that leading hand up in the air, 
hand closest to uh, the screen there up in the air. And I get a reach, just get a nice stretch through here. A little bit of lat, a little bit of oblique. Going down on hip flexor as well still. From here, I'm going to drop my hands down to the instep of the foot, pop the back leg towards the wall behind me, and I'm going to sink into this stretch, just like that. Whew. Nice exhale there. Reach the hand up towards the ceiling. Hand comes around to the outside of the foot. Toes come up, push back into a nice little hamstring stretch. Alternatively, you can just drop that down if that hamstring stretch was a little too much for you. That works just as good. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Now my left leg's forward, uh, my right leg's back, right knee's on the floor. Push hips forward, make sure this foot isn't crossing behind the other foot. You want to have that stacked up more or less with that knee. Look over your shoulder. Nice exhale there. Hands go up in the air just like that. Exhale. Up that back leg towards the wall behind you. Sink into that stretch a little bit. Hand goes up to the ceiling. Stacking those shoulders up as much as you can. Outside of the foot. And push back into that hamstring stretch. Good. From here, we're going to move to a squat stretch. We're going to do quite a bit of squat pattern in this class, in addition to the lunge pattern we were just doing. So we're going to kind of warm up that bottom position of the stretch. I did a nice little squat workout yesterday. My legs are super sore, a little bit tight uh, as well. So uh, I'm going to sink into that a little bit extra with you guys here today. We're going to go slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Not crazy wide. Uh, from here, chest stays relatively vertical. Hands kind of come down just like this. And I'm going to grab on to those feet, just like that. From here, I'm squeezing my elbows out, get a nice little groin stretch, sinking into that squat, getting my shoulders back as much as I can. From here, I'm going to exhale into a nice little hamstring stretch with between your legs here. Don't need to stretch the, uh, or straighten the legs completely. Now we're going to do that again. We're going to do that three times. Exhale, shoulders back, inhale up, and a nice exhale into this position here. Nice little stretch for the hamstrings. Again, knees don't have to totally straighten, that's fine. We're going to one more time. Exhale into this one again. And you're going to roll yourself up. We're definitely doing that one again. Uh, we're going to move on. Uh, in the warm-up here, we're going to come back and do all this stuff all over again. So we are going to move to a uh, YTW, I like to use this a little bit of shoulder activation for the back of the shoulder. Uh, if you happen to have a super light band and something to tie it to, a uh, face pull or a bound pull apart can work really well uh, as well for this. But assuming we have uh, not very much in the way of equipment, especially the bands, uh, standing up first. And this next round we're going to do in the prone position. Uh, you're going to push your hips back just like this right here. And there's three shapes you're going to make uh, from this position. First one is going to be a T position. Then you're going to make a Y position. Or pardon me, first is going to be a Y, then the T, and then the W. Okay, I'm just showing you guys because you're facing me. Uh, how we're going to add gravity and kind of use gravity as our resistance so we can activate some of the muscles on the upper back here. Is you're going to drop your chest down, abs on nice and tight. Okay, you're going to make that Y shape with the thumbs up. T shape with the palms down. And the W with the... Uh, uh, thumbs pointing in and the palms down. We're going to do that again. Y, T, W. One more time. Y, T, W. Let's do it two more times, actually. Five times total. One more time. Squeezing between the shoulder blades for just a second for each rep. Good. So the next time we do that, we're going to do it on the ground. Uh, okay, next uh, thing we're going to do is a uh, plank with a, uh, with a shoulder tap, pardon me. So we're going to get into a plank position. The goal of this is, say this is me holding my plank, I do a shoulder tap. The idea is to not get the hips to move too much, okay? So the idea is you're squeezing your abs nice and tight, glutes are on nice and tight, all the rest of the muscles around the spine uh, are nice and tight, and you move your hand to the shoulder, just like that. You shouldn't be going really fast with the chop kind of thing. Uh, you want to make sure you're slowing that down. Uh, and kind of getting it controlled, touching. I find a wide stance really helps with this uh, if you're finding this one really difficult. Um, 
So uh, just make sure you widen those feet as much as you can. I'm certainly going to have mine relatively wide. Probably one sandbag wide because it's stuck between my legs anyway. So if I'm doing this, that's what we're going for. We're going to do five on each side without moving your shoulders like that. Good. Finish up those last couple reps. Awesome. Next thing we're going to do, very, very similar. Uh, is we're going to lift the legs up this time, okay? So the same idea is as I lift my legs up, my hips aren't rocking or shifting and my hips aren't dropping down either. Uh, you should be able to kind of cover up my legs uh, and cover up that side of the screen and my shoulders aren't moving too, too much. I'm staying relatively stable through the shoulders, okay? So once again, we don't need to lift up very high. A couple centimeters off the ground is fine. Just make sure you're squeezing your butt. If you lift up really high, chances are your back will arch, which is not what we're looking to do. So go ahead and get 10 reps, five on each side, down range on your own time. Awesome. Good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the whole thing all over again. Just gonna check, make sure you guys can hear me. Perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do next, go right back to the beginning, back to that world's greatest stretch, and we're going to uh, hopefully, uh, as you've limbered up and warmed up a little bit, get a little deeper into a couple of those stretches, okay? Once again, just warm, don't force anything, but uh, the idea is to gradually warm up as the tissue is warm. We should feel like we can get a little further in each position without uh, straining anything on the warm up here. So right legs forward, left legs back, I'm gonna squeeze my glute, push my just a little bit more forward. Look over that forward leg. Nice exhale there. Leading hand goes up to the sky here towards the ceiling. Both hands down. This time, if you can, drop that elbow down to the knee. If this feels more comfortable still, that's just fine. Hand goes up to the ceiling. Out to the outside of the leg. Push back for a nice little hamstring stretch. All right. Same thing on the other side. Squeeze the glute, push hips forward. Hands come up, or hand comes up, I should say. Both hands down, push back towards the wall behind you. Towards the ceiling, palm ideally facing forward. Hand to the outside of the foot. Push back into that hamstring stretch. Step forward, we're going to right back into that squat stretch. Feet slightly wider, shoulder width apart. Use the elbows to push those knees away from each other. Nice little groin stretch there. Inhale up and exhale into that hamstring stretch. Inhale down. Nice exhale in the squat position. Right back up to the top. One more time in each position. Roll up out of that. Okay, so once again, this time we're going to do the uh, YTW Pro. Uh, as you're down uh, with your chest on the floor, uh, thighs on the floor, uh, you want to make sure that as you lift those hands up, just like we controlled the core when we were in this position, uh, as you're on the ground, as you lift here, you're not overly arching the back uh, or uh, kind of arching through that mid back. Uh, you want to make sure it's mostly coming through the shoulders, a little bit through the upper back for sure. Uh, mostly, we just want to make sure we're controlling the spine from uh, from kind of here to here, I guess. Okay, so I can move my sandbag out of the way. All right, so we're gonna make that Y T and the W as well. So once again, thumbs up for the Y, palms down for the T. Same thing for the W. We're doing five. Good job, two more. Last one. Awesome. Okay, next thing we do is we're gonna do those planks. Uh, we're gonna do the shoulder tap first and then the uh, leg lift, okay? So we're gonna do the shoulder tap, take a short, short break to reset, get right back into the leg lift, okay?
slightly wider for the shoulder tap if you want to. Change those foot position, or feet position, pardon me, right into the leg. Good. Okay, next thing we're going to do is a short, short circuit just to keep kind of continue getting the blood pumping. We're going to start with. Uh, some push-ups. We're going to do just three push-ups just to kind of get the ball rolling, get ourselves warmed up. Then we're going to do three sit-ups, stand up, do six bodyweight squats, and three lunges per leg. Okay, once again, this is just to get the blood pumping. Move from exercise to exercise as quickly as you can. We'll do things properly and safely. For your push-ups, you know, um, maybe you're, again, you're fitter than me and three push-ups kind of seems like nothing. I promise we're going to do some work later on, but if you want to do five, no big deal. Same thing for the sit-ups. You want to do a couple more. No problem. Same thing with the lunges or squats. Um, just whatever we got to get to do, or we got whatever we got to do to warm up. We're just trying to get the blood pumping right now. Okay, so we're gonna go right from one exercise to the next. Starting out with those push-ups. Just three reps. Right into sit-ups. Yeah, you can do strict sit-ups if you want to, or you can move the arms. Use a little bit of momentum. That's totally fine. We're going to do our lunges, our squats next, pardon me, just with the body weight. Straight from that, into those lunges. I'm stepping back. You want to step forward, that's totally fine. I've lost count, so we'll call this next one six on each leg, or pardon me, uh, three on each leg. We're going to go right into those push-ups. Sit-ups is next. Air squats is after that. Did the number that did the job on me. I'm definitely feeling a little bit of sweat on my forehead. Slightly warmed up, only took about a minute or so. We are going to get into a little bit of a circuit relatively quickly. Grab a quick drink if you want to, or uh, start that off right away here. As soon as I get a drink. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little bit of a circuit uh, with the bag here. Once again, I've got a 40 pound sand bag. You can use whatever you happen to have laying around. Ruck might be an appropriate choice, or your day bag would probably be a little more appropriate uh, given the weight. But again, whatever you want to put in there to make it weigh as heavy as you can, or as heavy as you want it to weigh. Uh, once again, I'm using roughly a 40 pound bag. So we're going to do probably three rounds for the uh, uh, 15 minutes I've allotted for this particular circuit. We are going to build rest, at least a one minute rest in between. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, this sandbag. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna shoulder the sandbag, uh, okay? If you have a different object, it's easier to get it in that, uh, kind of that zercher or that uh, front rack carry, uh, that's totally fine as well. Uh, however, you can kind of get it up on the upper half of your body. Uh, I'm going to do some step back lunges. I'm gonna go uh, six on my right, six on my left. Okay, from there, I'm gonna rack it up nice and high and I'm going to do six front squats, okay? Uh, then I'm going to lift the bag from the floor to my shoulder. I'm going to do six reps uh, on each side and then I'm going to rest for one minute. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick little demo of each of those exercises. Nice and simple. Once again, on my right shoulder, I'm going to lunge backwards with my le right leg leading this time. Okay, all right, so that's going to be, I'm going to do six the right side, six the left side, then I'm going to switch there to the front. And I'm going to do some front squats, six reps. After I do that, I'm going to shoulder the sandbag six times on each side from the floor here. So what that's going to look like, 
is I'm going to get my hips nice and low so it's not all coming from my back like this. I'm going to drop my hips down. It's going to be kind of a mix between a squat and a deadlift. Uh, my hips line up somewhere in between, kind of a high squat, pretty low for a deadlift, but uh, that's where I'm going to end up. I'm going to grab the bag and then lift it up on my shoulder. So when you're getting it up off the ground, it might be a little bit of an awkward object. You may have a hard time finding where you can kind of get purchased to lift on the thing. So come relatively slow off the floor. Then once you've got a good grip, kind of about like, we'll say halfway up. Then I really want you to think about jumping the bag up. Once you have a good grip on there, you're going to jump, flip it up onto one shoulder. You're going to come back down, go to the other shoulder, okay? So we're going to do this. Uh, I think, again, we'll get three to five rounds through, depending on how long it takes. Relatively short uh, intervals here. But I promise by the time you finish those lunges and get over to the front squat, you might not agree that it's short. So uh, we'll see how many rounds we get through, okay? We are going to do it for about 15 minutes with about one minute of rest between each round. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into that squat. Or into the lunge, pardon me. Six reps on each side to start. Once I've done this side, on the other side, straight into it. Should be around halfway there. Front rack for six squats. Keep the chest up nice and tall. Stand back up nice and high, up by your neck. I think that's six. And we're going to pick it up. Just to the shoulder, drop it down. So one on that side. Okay, two on each side. Three on each side. Five on each side. Woo, that's one round. We're gonna take one minute of rest. Get my clock going so I know how long a minute it is. Because I do tend to talk through these things. Hold on guys. A little behind schedule, so I think we'll just do three of these. We'll do two more as I breathe really heavy. It's good though, I know I'm working out. Okay, a couple of technique things as we have about 30 seconds left. For the lunge, try to keep your chest relatively vertical, okay? Knee does not need to touch the ground. Try to come within one to three inches of the floor. That's totally fine. You don't need to go all the way down. We've got about 15 seconds left. As we're going between rounds, good idea is to try to not talk the whole time, like I'm doing, but take some nice deep breaths. Okay, we got five. Let's do it, some more lunges. Halfway. Shoulders. Just like that, we're in the front squats. Shoulder that bag. This one on each side. Two on each side. Three on each side. Uh -huh. We got one left. I might have lost count. Bonus rep. Well done, guys. 
Nice deep breath, trying to get that heart rate down. Good job. All right. Got about 50 seconds left. A couple of technique things. When you're picking up that sandbag, I was getting a side view of you. Should look something like this. As you get fatigued, what tends to happen is people will bend over around their back. I'm going to discourage you not to do that. Take some time. I'm going through these pretty quick. You gotta slow it down, no big deal. Okay? Take as much time as you need. Get the sandbag off the floor for 12 uh, reps, that's six on each side, uh, as safely as you can. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy, obviously, but uh, try to do it as safely as you can, keep the back nice and flat. We've got about 15 seconds left in our rest. As you're in this 15 seconds, quick sip of water, a couple nice deep breaths, drop that heart rate a little bit for the next interval. Which we're going to start up in three, two, one, go. All right, switch shoulders. That front squat. Whew. Pick that sandbag up. It's two on each side. Three on each side. Four. Last one. Good job, guys. Nice deep breath. And just as promised, we're done with the sandbag. So I can flip this thing over here. Grab myself a couple of dumbbells. And a drink. All right, guys. So this is going to work. Is we're going to do five reps of everything. Once again, you got heavy dumbbells. Maybe the next round, you knock it down to three reps of everything. Your dumbbells say all you have is 10s, you'd really rather have 20s to 25s. Totally fine to uh, do a couple more reps than I'm doing. The idea with this one isn't to push through super, super uh, fast speeds. It's to make sure each rep, we complete each rep uh, with relative good control uh, and doing the thing properly, okay? So oh, once again, we're gonna do five of everything. I'm just gonna demo a couple of reps for you. We are still gonna start out with a dumbbell deadlift first, okay? So the dumbbell deadlift, I'm gonna recommend, grab the dumbbell close to the bottom, uh, or the kind of your hands close to the bottom of that dumbbell, the side that's closest to you, okay? We're gonna do a deadlift. We're not gonna go all the way to the floor on each rep. We're gonna start off, grabbing that dumbbell, pick it up, push hips back, lowering it. If you can touch the tips of the dumbbell before without crushing your toes, please do that. But if this is as far as you can go, keeping your back flat, Let's keep it right back up here. We'll do version between a, yeah, just like that right there. So feel free to bend your knees. My left side, for some reason, isn't quite getting to the floor. That's okay. So we're gonna do a dumbbell deadlift first. From here, we're gonna do a dumbbell clean. So I'm gonna bend over, back relatively flat, and you're going to jump it up to the front rack position, just like that right there. Feet you want hip width apart, once again, shoulders back. Get it up here, just like that. From here, we are going to do a dumbbell push press. 
using your legs, just like that. Five of those. Beautiful. Good. Next thing we're going to do, dumbbells come right back down. We're going to do some forward lunges this time. If you want to keep them down here like I am, that's fine. You're going to alternate each side. Or if you want to keep them here, that's fine too. Finally, we're going to finish off with some front squats and dumbbells. Five reps again to start. Dumbbells can be up in that clean position. And you're going to squat just like that. The front squat should be nice and familiar to you since we just did a bunch of reps with that sandbag. Whew. Quick little sip of water. I'm slow out of breath because I was talking a little time, but you guys are probably ready to go. So we're going to start up in about 30 seconds. Once again, five reps to start. You decide that's too easy. We can definitely do a couple more reps if all you have uh, is the weight you have for weight. Feel free to, as much as uh, double the reps on this one, you can get up to 10. Um, if you got really heavy dumbbells, maybe you're just doing one or two reps on each exercise, totally fine. It's gonna change the effect a little bit, but I promise it'll still be work. Okay guys, we're all ready to go. We're gonna kick off with those dumbbells in three, two, one. Let's deadlift first. That's five reps, right into that clean. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Push press next. Use those legs, keep those heels grounded while you're on the way down. Lunges are next. Ten reps total, five on each side. Dumbbells up. Five front squats. Whew. Good job, guys. We're gonna do one minute of rest. So, those uh, dumbbell cleans, or you're out here kind of having a hard time with them. It's not just to curl up to the shoulders. What I want you guys to do is go like you're going to jump up in the air, push this back, jump, but instead of your feet leaving the floor, you are going to put that in the dumbbells. That's what kind of helps them swing up into place. They should not swing way up in front, crash into you, keep them close to your body, get underneath them just a little bit. Critical 30 seconds. Nice little breather here. And we'll get into the next set. Whew, starting out with those deadlifts. Once again, dumbbells don't need to quite touch the floor. If they can, great, but if you notice your back starts around, then don't quite get down. Just get down as low as you can. Feel free to bend the knees a little bit, but get down as low as you can without that back rounding. We're starting in three, two, one, go. That's two, that's three, Four and five. Into the cleans. Two. Three. Four. Five. Push press is next. Lunge is next. Halfway. All right. Front squats. Whew. Just like that. Another set down. 
got two rounds down. Never been one for counting, obviously. You guys have seen me do my reps. <laughs> That's two rounds down. Get at least another one going here. <sighs> to wrap it up here. Not the workout, just this dumbbell complex. <sighs> Got about 30 seconds of rest. <sighs> Again, nice deep breaths. Again, I like to bring some box breathing in, box breathing. Four seconds in, four seconds holding your lungs, four seconds out, four seconds holding the air out of your lungs. Might not quite work like that when you get your heart rate up, but it does kind of help to bring things down a little bit, prepare you for the next round. So they're checking out with my dumbbells. Let's get into another round. Right into those cleats. Push press. Lunges. Finish it off with some front squats. Whew. Now bells down. Nice work, guys. With that, we're gonna move on to the next circuit. Have a quick sip of water if you want to. I do. This circuit is going to be a little bit more strict as far as uh, slowing it down a little bit. That one you kind of push through a little bit. This one, uh, we're going to do a couple of isolation exercises. So the goal is not swing the dumbbells around a little bit. The goal is to go nice and slow. We're going to start with a hammer curl. That's this right here. Then we're going to go into the dumbbell thruster. So I guess I said it was nice and slow. This one you're going to throw a little bit of enthusiasm on it. Or add it because you're going to start with your hands on the dumbbells like this, holding up in that shoulder rack position, same thing as the front squat. You squat down, press it right up over your head, okay? Uh, so make sure you get the momentum from the hips, help drive those dumbbells up because that is going to be important uh, to this exercise. And then we're going to do a plank with a dumbbell drag, okay? So this is where that, uh, uh, where the uh, kind of slow and steady part comes back because uh, you're going to grab the dumbbell, you're going to be in a plank position, dumbbell's going to be by your, uh, if I'm in this position here, dumbbell's going to be my left hand, I'm going to drag it over to this side, back to the plank position, and drag it over to the other side. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. First off, hammer curl, nice and simple. I'm going to start with six reps. That's too easy, I'm going to move on to something a little bit more for the subsequent rounds. So six reps like that, the thrusters, just like that right there. Okay, so once again, it's not a squat to a shoulder press, it is a straight into that shoulder press, okay? Once you're done with that, one dumbbell off to the side, one right in front of you, plank over top of that dumbbell. Feel free to widen your stance, make life easier. I already feel like I did a round, but I didn't. So we're going to see if we can get through this one in about 10 minutes. Hopefully we'll get three rounds left with one minute of rest in between each round. Okay, so we're going to start off with that hammer curl. Once again, we do six reps uh, for the dumbbell drag. That is going to be six reps uh, each side. So drag this way, drag this way. That's one. We're going to be doing like 12 reps total. Okay, and again, if that's too easy, you can always do more in this next round, okay? But we're going to start off, uh, let's go 10 seconds. All right. Three, two, one, go.
it up. Dumbbells end up nice and high. We're going to do those thrusters. Awesome. Let's try the dumbbells. Halfway there. Whew. That dumbbell drag is always a pain. Hopefully, as you are observing, well, I mean, hopefully, you're doing your own work, not watching me too close, but hopefully, as you are working, Felt like a lot of work for you too, and you're keeping those hips relatively stable. Definitely felt mine shifting around a little bit. Not the end of the world, but we do want to make sure we keep those hips as locked down as we can. If six reps is too many, the first half felt good. Back heel felt a little shaky, like it did for me. Maybe a couple less reps next time. All right. Couple more seconds of rest. Now let's go with 15 and we're going to get into the next round. All right, guys, hammer curls. All right, let's get them up. Last one. And out of my favorite part. Just kidding. Keep that plank nice and strong. When you're ready, get into that drink. Already halfway there. Whew. Nuts, we have time for one more round. Tell you what, we'll mix it up for the next round. We'll get rid of that thruster and we'll throw in a tricep extension. If you've got full size dumbbells like me, that works just fine. If your dumbbells are kind of small, it's hard to reach, you can just do this extension instead. Get rid of those thrusters that keep making me tired. I'm running this workout so we can do those instead. Focus up on those triceps a little bit <coughs> for the last round eh, or two. We'll see. Okay, let's go with some hammer curls. Six reps. And we'll lose one of these dumbbells. Do some triceps extensions instead of those thrusters. All right, use this single one, get my dumbbell drag going. Almost there. Whew. That was gnarly. But lucky us, we have time for one more. 
Nice deep breath. Take about a minute of rest. And we're again going to go, we're going to keep that uh, thruster out, sub in that tricep extension. Get a little back front action going for the shoulder, or for the arms I should say. Alright. Give us another 15 seconds, and then we'll go back into the last set of this. After this, we only have one more circle left. We're almost there. All right. So, start with those hammer curls. Once again, you've been doing six reps this whole time. You're like, ah, six reps is too easy, Rich. Feel free to do a couple more. Halfway. Don't rush through those either. Trying to keep those elbows from flaring as much as you can. They probably will a little bit. Awesome. Get that dumbbell drag going. Nice and steady. Mission up. Whew. That one was tough, but we don't have to do it anymore. Feel free to push your dumbbells off to the side. Get those out of your way. Last circuit. No dumbbells. You know what? We will do some dumbbells. We'll throw a dumbbell in the mix. I lied to you just now. Gave you some false hope. We are going to do some dumbbells. Could do it kind of body weight, but instead of 10 minutes of burpees, uh, we'll, well, we'll mix it up a little bit, okay? So we got uh, roughly 10 minutes left to work here. You know what? We're not going to make it 10. By the time I get done, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go like six more minutes. We'll do a little, nice little six minute MRAP of uh, three different movements. First one. You have your dumbbells right nearby, and you're going to do a burpee with them, okay? If dumbbell burpees are a little ambitious, don't worry about it, okay? So I'm going to start out, dumbbells in my hands, I'm going to lunge down to the floor or hop back if I wanted to, push up, lunge, or hop forward. Just like that. And you can throw a little jump in there if you want to. Okay? Just like that. I would do six reps. Just like that. Okay? You can feel free to alternate the legs or just do right leg the first set, left leg the second set. That works just fine for me. From here, we do dumbbell deadlift. Just like we already did. That will just go like an RDL so you don't need to go all the way down to the floor if you don't want to. You can. Just push the hips back, keep the shins vertical. That's just fine. Uh, next thing we're going to do is a dumbbell row. You're going to keep both of your dumbbells in your hand for this one. Just like this. All the way up to, uh, let's go six reps on everything, or 10 reps, pardon me, uh, for the exercise. I failed to mention this. Six burpees, eight deadlifts, 10 rows, okay? So that's how we're going to do this. We're going to do an ab wrap, as many rounds as possible, as many reps as possible, whatever you want to say, in six minutes. And we'll start that in 15 seconds. So even though we're moving uh, with some speed, we also want to make sure we got some moving quality here. Don't rush through the whole thing, do it improperly. Make sure you're going all the way down until you feel that nice hamstring stretch from the deadlifts. Uh, for the burpees, just make sure you keep your spine relatively neutral as you're hopping up and lifting those dumbbells off the floor. And for the rows, same idea. Don't start here and gradually make your way up to rolling like this. Keep that uh, torso angle about 45 degrees. So, don't be talking anymore. Let's do it. Six minutes, just like that. Okay, three, two, one, go. Last 
last one for me. I'm gonna go right into the deadlift. For me, I'm just gonna do an RDL, push hips back, keep the shins vertical. Knees definitely still do bend. All right, let's do that row. Once again, torso angle, 45 degrees, back nice and flat. Just like that, right into those dumbbell burpees. Deadlifts is next. Number eight of these. Whew, let's get into that row. We got. We're over halfway there anyway. Shoot, I'm doing rows, guys. I apologize. I just love RDL so much. I start over with my 10 rows. It's because I really like, don't like dumbbell deadlifts. I'm going to jump them out this time. Ten rows. Let's do it. Oh. I set down. Take a quick breather. Four quick breaths. Cause I need it. Just like that. Time to get back to work. I'm gonna hop up my burpees again. So much fun the last time. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Those already I was going. Coming up on the last minute, guys. I'm gonna try to finish up my burpees. Okay. Whew. 
Got my burpees done. Still enough time for some more work. RDLs. That is time. Whew, good job, guys. Well done. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath or two. Get a sip of water. Stay standing if you can. We're gonna the cool down. That was some work right there. Nice deep breath. So we get that heart rate down as much as you can. Whew. Get my whole face in the frame. All right, while we're uh, cooling down here, we are going to go two thumbs up, palms face back, and get a little nice gentle front of the shoulder stretch. Elbows can be straight. Or a soft bend is probably okay. Keep those shoulders down low, no matter what you're doing. Exhale into that each time. Whew. All right, next thing. Two thumbs up, we're gonna do two reps on each side. I'm gonna stare at this thumb to start, and it's gonna be going over just like that, so I'm following it with my head. Next thing, stare at this thumb, and I send that hand out without my head. My head's gonna my head's gonna fall on my left thumb just like that. It's gonna be without my left thumb. Keep my eyes on my right thumb now. Back to my left thumb. This one's always the worst one for me. Good. Awesome. Just want to make sure we loosen that neck up a little bit. Don't go crank it inside like I just did. Uh, we want to loosen up that neck a little bit just because those burpees can be a little crunch up in the shoulders a little bit. We're just hanging on the dumbbells for the majority of the workout. That tends to fire up the traps a little bit. Not a bad thing, your traps need love too, but we just want to make sure we don't leave our day like this. So to that end, we're going to do a little bit of static stretching uh, on the traps a little bit. Just take your right hand behind your back, just like that. You don't have to jam it up super high. As high as you can on the back without the shoulder kind of rolling forward. Keep that shoulder back as much as you can. And I'm just going to gently Gently guide my head. I'm just holding on. I'm not cranking on it at all. We'll drop them down. Just like that when you're ready. We'll switch sides. We're going to do each side twice. Just nice and gentle. Guide your head, don't pull on it. Don't crank on that neck. Just kind of look around, see where you find that stretch. Keep that shoulder down as much as you can. Awesome, okay. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get down on the ground again. Just make sure we uh, move all of our tripping hazards. You got your dumbbells. If you carelessly threw them, gently set them down off to each side, like I did. Um, just make sure they uh, are out of the way. And we're gonna make our way onto the floor here. We're gonna start out with that world's greatest stretch. Okay, so right leg forward, left leg back, push hips forward, look over that forward leg. Let's exhale there. Throw that hand up in the air. Both hands down, hop the back leg towards the wall behind you, sink into that stretch a little bit. Head goes up towards the ceiling, stacking those shoulders up. Just like that. Hand goes on the outside. Shove back into that hamstring stretch. And repeat on the other side.
One area we're going to focus on today is a little bit of hamstring here. Okay, so we're going to loosen that hamstring up. We're going to do a dynamic stretch followed by a little bit of static stretch, okay? So the dynamic stretch, nice and simple. We're going to go five reps um, with your knee, our hand part of knee kind of just below your knee on your hamstring here. You're going to get your chin on your chest, squeeze that quad. Five seconds. And you're going to come down for five seconds. I like to breathe in on the way on in this portion and exhale up here. Five seconds. Back down, inhale at the bottom. Exhale at the top, that's three reps. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale as you squeeze that quad. We're going to do one more. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale at the top. And we're going to go straight into a nice little dynamic or straight little static stretch. Uh, you guys can grab your toes. I find I feel it way more in my hamstring. I push my chest forward. Whatever works for you gives you that hamstring stretch. That's what I want you to go with. I'm just going to hold it for 30 seconds to be conscious of time. Three more deep breaths should do it. All right, same thing on the other side. Once again, inhale at the bottom. Exhale for about five seconds at the top. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale at the top. Inhale at the bottom. Two more. Last one. Good. Right into that static stretch. Just about 30 seconds for this one. Now we're going to be right out of time. Okay, well, that is our class for today. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Uh, thanks for uh, coming out and working hard. I know I did. Hopefully you got a little bit of fitness in yourself, and I will see you on the next video.